Let's see, uh, let's check up on the stuff over here now, the objectives. Wait, what in the world? Uh, I was wondering why we didn't get the marketing thing done. Spent $3,000 on marketing yearly and we're at $29.91.69. What? I have three $1,000 marketing things going on, or at least I had. Yeah, how did I get $3,000 right there? It's been going on for two years. Uh, okay, I guess I'll stop those. I don't know why we... I'm just going to get... Yeah, family hour, $5,000 high impact mark. Let's do that one instead, jeez. I don't know why that wasn't working. That was very strange. Oh, let's check up on the animals again. Let me see if there's... Nope, no one's elderly. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, the female ring-tailed lemur is el elderly now. Man, it's in that one, the trade center. There you go. And everyone else is fine. Okay, so that's good. But now I need to see... Do we have any... Uh, yeah, we have one male ring-tailed lemur. Let's see if we can find a female on the market to go along with him. Man, that was a gold ring-tailed lemur, too. Man. Nah, there's not... It, it goes from pronghorn to reindeer to saltwater croc, so yeah, we, we can't get another ring-tailed lemur right now, unfortunately, but it... No, it doesn't seem like it's fine on its own, yeah. I remember I remember we were waiting for a, a male up here on the market, but yeah. That female's been waiting for so long. Oh, and speaking of male, do we have back train camel? I think we do, didn't we? Yeah, we just placed him down. The male back train camel. Uh, oh, is that a baby? No, it's an adult. Oh, it's pregnant, too. Jeez. Here's the male right here, right? Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yep, all right. I was wondering, did I place one down? But yeah, we did. Okay, so that's great. All right, animals are going to fight for alpha status again with a... Yeah, I don't know why the spot hyenas are going to fight. Because it's set up to two females. Up yeah, up to two females, up to two males. But the females are heckin' fighting now, so I I guess I'm going to get rid of them. Or at least I can get rid of one. <laughs> anyway, it's about research complete again. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, for the doll sheep and the ranger, just like before. So there you go. It looks like we're all caught up from before the other uh, crash. So that's good. Let me let me do a save right now to make sure we don't lose any progress. All right, I'm back. Uh, I was looking at the females over here, and I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This one has a lower uh, genes compared to this one over here, I think, right? Uh, yeah, that's a female. And yeah, this one has at least some green. This one is all just orange and red. Like, look at that. That's terrible. So yeah, I, I guess I'm going to box it up. And, uh, oh, unpause. Oh, 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 there you go. Box it up, send it over to, uh, Animal Trading, and, uh, just send it out of here, I suppose. That way we kind of solve the, the hyena animal fighting problem, even though I shouldn't have that in the first place, but whatever. But, anyways, yeah, uh, now we need to get rid of all these guys, so let's grab all of them and quick trade them for a thousand buckaroos. So there you go, noise. And, uh, let's see what this is. Mechanic research. Staff facility is completely full, and I believe that's going to be like, what, a bigger quarantine, or like a bigger staff room, and... Yeah, large quarantine, large research center, large staff room, and large, uh, keeper hut, so that's great, nice. Definitely want to make them over here where the, this one's being used by, like, Africa and Arctic, so it might make sense to upgrade that staff room to a large one, upgrade that keeper hut to a large one, uh, maybe upgrade that research center to a large one, maybe? I don't know. But this keeper hut's, like, right next to the entrance right here, so I don't know what we'll be able to do with that, but... We'll probably be fine right now, as is. Anyways, uh, only one player visiting our park. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, now we can actually focus on some other stuff, right? Like, potentially uh, getting the Silver Star, which means getting it. Yeah, we have 1438 right now. Which means getting a heckin' Polar Bear, so we should be able to get one, right? If there is one on the market. Oh, look at that, now we have a heckin' Silver Male. Are you kidding me? Ah. Uh, uh, should I, uh, should I trade out the one we have right now for this one? I don't know. Let me, let me check. What, what is the male that we have right now, though? Is it, is it good? Is it terrible? Or, or what? That's a female. Uh, there it is right there. There's the male. Look at that's terrible size. It, it size is okay. Longevity's terrible. Yeah, I, I remember this. I remember that male wasn't going to last too long. So I, I think I think it's going to make sense to get this male. The silver male right here, you guys. It's going to be 208. Uh, conservation trench right there. Is there a polar bear? There is not. Oh, wait, no, yeah, there are. Oh, it's a silver polar bear right there. 1800. Ooh. Really good fertility. Decent longevity. De okay immunity. And, eh, size. It's going to expire in about five minutes. I don't think we can get. I don't think we can get 1400 uh, conservation critters that fast, you guys, unless we, like, release a bunch of heck critters out into the wild and hope that we actually get a decent amount of conservation critters from that, right? So. Maybe I'll look at those animals that we have right now and see if there's anyone that's like super duper old or, uh, you know, getting up there where it makes sense to release them out to the wild. Uh, maybe, oh yeah, maybe that's, maybe some flamingos? Perhaps some of the flamingos might be getting up there and, uh, in, in the social. Oh no, yeah, they're fine with like a trillion. So, yeah, they're fine with, I guess, any amount? 
How many? I want to I wanna make sure. So up to 500 fail. Uh, oh my god. So we need to have a minimum of 10 and up to 500 males, 500 females. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> Jeez. So how many do we have right now? I wonder if we could actually... Oh, yeah, we could do it this way, right? Hold on. Uh, we could do it like this. It's like flamingos and go to animals. And uh, we have nine males, 13 females. So... Yeah, we, we, can, we can cut that number down substantially and get some conservation credits to hopefully get ourselves some of uh, that polar bear before heck it expires. So, <laughs> let's figure out, uh, let's sort this by species and by appeal. So, I guess we'll get rid of the least appealing flamingos, perhaps? So that would be all the way down here, which are heckin' pregnant, so that's unfortunate. But yeah, let's get rid of, like, the most least appealing flamingos. And uh, how many? Yeah, we have 26 right now. So we can get rid of uh, up to eight females and up to four males. So we have five females selected right now. Uh, we can do three more. There you go. And uh, do three males. There you go. Just uh, release them out to the wild and get a hundred guns of credits right then and there. Nice. All right, so we're up to 1578. I don't know if we'll get that number up uh, just by sitting around doing absolutely nothing. Uh, like I said earlier, we could actually get. Uh, where is that? There's like their bins, benches, and uh, whatever else. We can get recycling bins, and hopefully people will actually use them. Uh, hopefully get us some uh, conservation credits that way, you know? Just place them down sporadically. Not really uh, any any form to, you know, where we're putting them and stuff, but, you know, just place them down just to have them. And uh, in case people actually have any materials they could actually recycle, then hey, there you go, use that. Uh, speaking of such, let's we'll place this one right there. There you go. Let's just place these down. Relatively spread out, but with no real order to them, just because we don't need to have these ones quite as common as the trash cans. But I'll still place them down decently frequently. Oh, they do have kind of a custom one, but it's orange. Yeah, I guess if anything, we could, you know, change it. Yeah, there it is right there. We change the color of it to orange to kind of blend in a little bit better. That's maybe why I didn't notice it, because it didn't have like a bright color like that, huh? Is that a, uh, that was a regular bin. Ugh, why is that blue? Ugh, clean that up. It looks like trash. We're at 1595 right now. Uh, other stuff, other way of getting it, uh, competing community challenges, greeting avatars that visit or selling animals on the marketplace and releasing animals into the wild. Yeah, we can't get any of that, unfortunately, but if we greet this guy, are we going to go up on any? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this actually does it. I, I still, this many episodes in, I, I, I still don't know how to technically greet these people. <laughs> oh, now the war dogs are going to fight due to, uh, too many males, man. Yeah, let's get rid of this one. Let's, uh, send that one to trade center. Oh, man, that's a silver one, though. Ooh. Oh, that one, the other, okay, so both males are silver, so, yeah, uh, let's just trade that one out, I suppose. And, uh, you know, it'll reach a while to get 10 conservation credits, even though the only conservation status is terrible, so, whatever, at least I'm going to get some conservation credits, right? 16, 19, do we sell the polar bear on the market? Yeah, hopefully we do. And we do! Hey, 1857, we have a minute and a half to get, like, 230 more conservation credits, and I don't know if we'll be able to do that, you guys, oh my gosh. It's a race against the clock right now, you guys. Oh man, we have a lot of arctic wolves. We could probably trade one or two of them out, you guys. Yeah, I think these two right here are like twins or something crazy. Yeah, I think we can get rid of those. And we'll be fine. Yeah, I'm going to release those to the wild. 43 conservation credits. Woo! That's really good. 1666. Ah, uh, we're getting there, you guys. We just need like 200 more. <laughs> Golly. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to do it, you guys. I don't think we can, unfortunately. Ah, man. Kind of want to check on this guy, though. Let me check his, uh... Pack mates. Okay. Current mate, no mates. Okay, so I want to make sure this guy doesn't breed with us. Asic? I guess that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make sure he doesn't breed with this one, because that is a sibling, and I don't want that to happen, and I'll get arrested if that happens. So, I want to make sure it breeds with uh, Tapisa instead. So, yeah, seems like that's fine. Yeah. So maybe I'll uh, release Asic to the wild as well. 37 conservation credits right there. Woo! We still need 150 more. So. <laughs> I don't know how, uh, how else we're going to get this, you guys. Unless we release, like, a bunch more flamingos. Although, I think we release as many as we can without it, you know, it, it dipping under the necessary amount that we need. And we do still have a minute and a half of passively gaining conservation credit. Oh, we have 19 flamingos. We can still get rid of a decent amount. Holy heck. <laughs> Although, I think some of them might be babies. So, yeah, we get rid of two more male, two more adult males, that is. So, <laughs> that's only going to get, like, maybe a double-digit amount of uh, conservation credits. Like, barely a double-digit, so... Yeah, I can get rid of these two right here, and... What is that going to get it? Yeah, 15, just barely. So we're up to 17, 18 right now. I don't know if we'll get that polar bear, you guys. It's a, it's a decent polar bear. It's it's not too bad, but I really wish we could get... Oh, God, now these are failing. 
I don't know why these are, uh... Why are these getting... Every six months? No, every three months. Golly. <laughs> Call mechanic over here, Hater. Jeez, these things are dying. Set this one down. Man, we have so many staff. Every three months. There, it's been a year since the last visit, and we have a singular mechanic specifically assigned to this area, and yet it's still taking forever for this guy to get repaired. Jeez. Anyways, we have that research done. And there we go, reindeer doll sheep. Yeah, that's probably why the, uh, I think the mechanic that works over here is probably doing research, right? So, uh, where would that be? Mechanic research. Is it this guy? Dear G. Dirk? I, pfft, I mispronounced that out the window. Jeez. Uh, oh yeah, he is. Yeah, he is the Arctic Zone one. Whoops. Okay, well, pfft, I'll get someone else to research it. Golly. Uh, I don't even know what we were researching with this guy. Probably something that wasn't really important. Uh, oh, I think it was a souvenir shot. Yeah, okay, let's get someone else to continue to research. It's almost done, so might as well finish it, right? And now the solar panel's failing. Whoops. Yeah, let's set this one over to every three months, just like the other one. Nice. All right, all right. This one doesn't really matter too much, because this one's only providing power to this one education board, and it's, like, right across the street, so... Even though it will have, like, uh... Oh, yeah, no. These, uh... The, uh, like, renewable resource things. They don't, like... The range doesn't go down if they're like dying, basically, like Transformer does. So we don't need to worry about that too much. But if it dies, then of course it won't produce anything. So <laughs> definitely need someone to. Is this Danger Dude? No, this is Marina. Dude. Aren't you supposed to be researching something? Yeah, you're like tired. Yeah, look at how tired you are. You have to do the job of the other guy because he's too like and lazy. <laughs> Anyways, we have a vet research done. And there you go, another one for reindeer. Amazing progress thus far, you guys. And I think the polar bear by now is probably expired on the map, or on the market, so let's check it real quick. Yeah, I don't see it at all. Oh, a gold female artvark? Whoa, 450, man! That would have been a really good one, but that is expensive as butt. <gasps> we could have a uh, giraffe. Ooh, we could put that in the, oh man, that is pipe. Oh, wait, what? oh, no, it expired. I was about to say, that is 5,000 conservation credits. No, it's 897, but fortunately it expired, so that sucked. That would have been a really good one to put with the elephants and stuff, right? Because we have, like, <laughs> elephants are still somehow our most appealing critter in the park. Like, look at that. It's crazy. Most appealing. You know what? I might even get another elephant. Maybe. I don't know. We have three, so it wouldn't really hurt to get a fourth, I guess, right? But, I, uh, oh, now this transformer is failing. Whoops. Oh, pfft. Let's call mechanic over here. How long has it been since this one? Two years? What? Jeez, I'm surprised it took two years for this thing to break down. Sheesh. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, yeah, so let's see if we can find any lemurs on the market. I think, what was it, female lemurs? Yeah, no ring-tailed lemurs, unfortunately. Golly. We can get the West African lion. Really good one right there. 1207. Whew. But it's a female, so. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's going to be fine on its own. I guess we'll check at the Zoopedia. Let's go to... Uh, maybe it says it says two to 30 so yeah it needs at least one male or I guess we get two females but we only have one on the market so yeah I'm not I'm not gonna especially at 1200 I can conservation credits we need a polar bear with that kind of money golly or whatever you call that <laughs> anyways uh now the warthogs are going to fight again jeez these guys need to stop having baby males like it's crazy oh, oh. I see you've been getting the word out there about the zoo. Ha <laughs> ha, good work. Although, I must admit, I'm a little hurt you didn't ask me to appear in the adverts. <laughs> well, look at that. It only took us like an extra year. <laughs> but we finally got the $3,000 of marketing right there, so that's great. Have at least four habitats. But yeah, we're going to have silver here very soon if we actually get the heckin' polar bear, but... Oh, we could get... Si oh, but... The Siberian tiger, is that... Tundra. Tiger temperate. Mmm, it's kind. It's in there, but it's not technically tundra. Man, I wish it was, but it's not. It says specifically, yeah, tundra biome creatures. So yeah, that sucks. All right, guys, I am back, and I was looking at the Zoopedia because I was like, there's got to be more than just doll sheep, reindeer, Arctic wolf for tundra, and yeah, there is. I completely forgot about the regular grizzly bear tundra. Himalayan brown bear, tundra. Himalayan brown bear, it, it was fine with a tiny enclosure in the previous Arctic area, so we could probably just place this down, I don't know, like across the street or something? Or maybe like right here? Like it doesn't even need a huge area right like that, you know? So we could probably just place it like right here on this corner and just put like a path going like this and there you go. There's the Himalayan brown bear right there and that's going to be the last critter until we start the gold. So that's going to be great, you guys. 
Then once we have gold, increased education rating at 3.5 stars. Uh, education right now is actually 5? Whoa, we did a great job on that. Wow. <laughs> uh, everything in the zoo has to be powered with renewable energy. So, you know, just get rid of the transformers, place down like solar panels, wind turbines, all that kind of stuff. And we'll be fine. Adopt and place two polar bears. So definitely want to, you know, save the conservation credits for that. Jeez. And uh, speaking of conservation, increase conservation rating to four stars, which we're currently at five stars on that one, too. Yearly profit of $25,000. We've been over that, almost like double that for years. Yeah, look at this. $52,000 last year. Uh, last year of profit and we're at thirty nine thousand dollars this year so far and it's august so once we place down the the brown bear or himalayan brown bear grizzly bear whatever we place down and once we place down the polar bear who man we're going to be pulling in so much profit you guys it's going to be crazy even though it's crazy right now with the current amount of profit jeez but yeah let's place down some paths and let's figure out how we're gonna place down this this himalayan brown bear area it's probably going to go let's see how how big are these like 20 feet I think we have it set to like 20 feet right here, so yeah, it's uh, yeah, set the length to like maybe like three. There you go, set that like three. Yeah, let's get rid of that. There you go. And I guess we could place this. How do I want to have this? I want it to go like this and then maybe merge into there or what? Yeah, that'll probably be fine right there. Nice. All right, that's probably going to be a big enough area for the Himalayan brown bear or whatever that is, right? So I think it's still going to be technically bigger than the area we gave it in the previous arctic area so that's going to be great and then of course we could put like shops or whatever right here so that's going to be awesome and then of course over here is going to be the polar bear area this entire heck and half the map is going to be the polar bear area <laughs> so let's actually build the habitat for the uh actually let's go to animal trading see if there are any himalayan brown bears or whatever else already on oh wait i saw a lemur i think uh oh female and it's a silver and we so oh, let's adopt boom send a zoo send a coordinate remember we got rid of like a gold uh, lemur female Pfft, not too long ago because it was old so we had to replace it now we did so there you go so that's great we can actually get a polar bear oh man this was a was that what was that no it's not silver or anything like that yeah i was about to say why is that silver and it has terrible stats or you know not not good enough for pink silver but yeah i saw the indian white rhinoceros that's silver and i thought it was the polar bear Jeez. yeah not that good that's why it's so cheap on quote unquote cheap on conservation credit still 800 that's a lot Let's go to Grizzly Bear, 3,000 rating on that one, not bad. 185, this is actually a really good deal. I kind of want to look at the Zoopedia, what, what do these guys require? Basically the same amount of area as the Himalayan Brown Bear, or whatever that was. Where is that at? H. A little bit more than what the uh, Himalayan Brown Bear needs at 550 compared to uh, 750, so a little bit more. So yeah, I think we could actually, uh, actually I think I know, I think a little while ago I was like, oh man, I wish I, uh, I could actually tell how big an area is before we actually like expand or whatever and I do know there actually is a way to do that I just need to oh and how tall do I need to make I probably need to make sure I get the right step oh whoops speaking of stats I have stuff on the screen right now I need to get rid of let me get that off the screen hold on whoops hopefully that's not going to stay on the screen too much I can GPU temperature and all that kind of trash get that out of there you guys don't need to see that <laughs> anyways let's see Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be a height or anything like that. It just needs to be grade 4 and climb proof. That's it. For the grizzly bear. Let's do it. Let's do it over here. And then we can make it a mix of brick and... Don't need to use wood. Because that's grade 2, I think. But brick and uh, mesh or whatever. It's still mesh, yeah. That's grade 4. So brick is 5. Yep, 5. So let's just do like a mix of that. So right now, I guess we'll turn this uh, to steel mesh. So edit barrier. There you go. Let's turn this into steel mesh at least for right now, and then we'll add brick later because the brick is kind of like an accent, as we saw uh, in the rest of the park with like the lemur and all that kind of stuff. So we'll add brick here in the future. And there you go. Okay, so I do know that you could check it. Where is it? Somewhere over here. You can check the temperature there. Here is right here land area. So it's 636 square meters. So yeah, too small. We do need to make it a little bit bigger if we're going to have grizzly bears in here, but it's fine for a Himalayan brown bear. It only needs 550. So that's great that we can actually see the navigatable area right there before we even place anything in there, so that's awesome. What do we have going on over here? Vet research is done. And once again, the what is wrong with the common warthogs? Let me guess, they have another male? I just got rid of, like, another I can I They do! What is wrong? Look at all those males on the way! There's three baby males! Oh, wait, hold on. Two baby... Yeah, three baby males! I need to get rid of them! Every baby's egg and male! I always have to get rid of them! Jeez, every time they turn into an adult, I have to kick them out! 
Oh man, dumb Dumaka. Well, let me send you out of here. There you go. You're out of here, Ada. <laughs> I really wish I could get rid of the babies before they become adults, but whatever. Oh, it's quarantine pass for the female lemur. That's like silver, I think, right? So send her over to the... There you go. Ring-tailed lemur area. There you go. Right. And I'm sure the male inside there is going to love the company. So that's going to be great, guys. Nice. Anyways, let me uh, let me expand this out a little bit more. And uh, especially because there's like no one on this pass. So there you go. You guys are trapped. What are you guys going to do? Oh, you're just going to teleport. Okay, whatever. Cheaters. <laughs> All right. Well, let me make this just a little bit bigger. Maybe, maybe I'll try and aim for like, uh, maybe like right here. And I'll try and aim for like a thousand or something like that. Uh, square meters or whatever. Oh yeah, actually, yeah. Meeting up with that intersection over there, that seems that seems okay. Yeah, let's make it go all the way over there, you guys. Nice. And basically now all I need to do is just edit this barrier a little bit to uh, expand out to here and we're pretty much good to go. There you go. And uh, now I'll get rid of the old barrier that's kind of in the middle here, so select these. And uh, here in just a second, we'll add the brick like accent points to like the corners and whatever else. That's going to be good. And it needs to be climb proof, so I believe this is climbable. So uh, let's actually select all this and add the climb proof things at the top. So which side would that be? Is that the right side? I believe we got it right on the first try. Awesome. <laughs> Might even make this like uh, 10 feet tall or something crazy, but uh, maybe I'll worry about that here in just a bit. Anyways, let's select the uh, actual enclosure habitat, whatever. 984 square meters. Okay, not not bad. That was my first try right there, expanding it out a little bit. I feel like we did an okay job. So if we have just one grizzly bear over here, that, that'll be fine. That'll, that'll be great. If we have a second one, surely it's not going to need more 984, right? We might even be able to add, like, water and stuff. That'd be cool. Anyways, let's go to animal trading. Let's see if we have any, uh... I probably should have got the grizzly bear that was already here, right? But whatever. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, here we go. Silver grizzly bear right there. Nice. It's a female, though. <laughs> okay, longevity. We could get that mail for $3,000. We have 4000 God, heck and lay. Yeah, I'm going to look at the Zoopedia again. Was it need for a male and female? Up to one male and up to one female. Okay, so that is the maximum. So, yeah, I, I, I feel like we do it. Well, let's, let's get the, the male and the female uh, grizzly bear right there, you guys. It's going to be cool. Uh, literally, because it's a heck and tundra type creature. So, adopt and uh, adopt this one as well. So, there you go. Nice. Send the zoos into quarantine. I want to send it straight to this enclosure, especially because, I like, right now, I guess we could add a little bit of snow to this. It doesn't need snow. It's a grizzly bear. It'll be fine. Uh... Hold on. Let me just double check. Before I heck something up, I, I want to check. <laughs> I want to check the, uh, here it is right here. Oh, whoop. God, man, I did not. Oh, yeah, I need to. Yeah, I'll release a while. Get a little bit of money out of it, sure. Or, er, conservation credits, I mean. <laughs> Send to zoo and uh, go to quarantine. I do want to check on these guys, though, to see. Are they still tundra? Or did I heck something up? No, yeah, yeah, there it is right there, tundra. So, yeah, yeah, we're fine. So. All we need to really do here is add, I just, just grass and trees and stuff like that, and I guess we'll be fine, so let's go over to terrain, and maybe we'll add some hills. Maybe nothing crazy, but maybe we'll just add some hills, and uh, I guess right now we'll just turn all this to short grass. That way we have something to work with here that's not sand. <laughs> so let's start converting all this to at least short grass, and we'll add some long grass and stuff here in just a bit. As well as some snow, so that'll be uh, really cool to blend in with the arctic creatures over here, tall sheep reindeer, and the... Arctic bulls themselves next door. I don't know if they're uh, they're going to be fine with any amount of sand. It's going to be like at the edges here. Like, uh, hopefully they're going to be fine with some sand. I'm like, uh, surely these guys are going to be going to like river beds and stuff like that and be like, oh man, there's sand over here. I don't care. So hopefully they're going to be fine with minimal amounts of sand just kind of splotched over here. So that'll be fine, I'm sure. Good check. Uh, animals will fight. Oh, aardvark this time. Whoa, I'm actually kind of surprised. I guess uh, these guys are breeded, huh? Let's see. Animals. There are two females, and it's this one right here I have to get rid of, so, uh, you're gone. <laughs> I'm just boxing up, I'm just getting them out of here, Ada. There you go. Oh, it's a silver star, nice. 100. Whoa! Wow, really good one right there. Hold on. Is this one the one that I. Hold on. I don't know which one is which. This one is 1.9 years old. This one is. Okay, I was about to say, did, am I getting rid of the adult one or something like that? Because this one was so highly rated, but no. This was the baby, and we're getting uh, 128 conservation credits right there, even though it was a one-star and rated conservation rating. Jeez. 14 pass for the grizzly bear. Nice. Well, one of them, Nella, the female one. So I guess we'll uh, send her over there. And she'll be making the place nice and comfortable, you know, by helping us figure out how comfortable we need to make this for these guys. Good work. 
I hope you've made all the necessary preparations for those new animals. <laughs> they really won't enjoy the Mexican weather. <laughs> They're a lot like Nancy, really. Heavens! The expansion and improvements really are continuing apace. I'll be honest, the way you're running this zoo makes me wonder if my job's even needed. <laughs> well, needed or not, I'm sticking around. If only to see what you do next. <laughs> oh, and uh, for the free churros in the staff canteen. <laughs> free churros, you say? Ooh, those guest education boards are really doing the trick. I swear, some of the facts I hear the guests excitedly talking about were even news to me. Ooh, well, that's one heck of a difference you've made to our conservation rating. Well done. You've really got our guests to dig deep and contribute generously to our coffers. Just shows how much they believe in what we're doing. <laughs> Magnificent! There you go. I'm trying to add some of these little spheres here to at least give us a starting point. To uh, have some hills and stuff here, guys. In the middle, especially here. Where we're gonna hopefully have a, a like like another mountain like that over there, you guys. It's gonna be cool because it is a grizzly bear, so I'm sure it's gonna be fine with all this. Although it did get boxed up just a moment ago, <laughs> so uh, hopefully the uh, other one over here in quarantine did it pass or what? Oh yeah, it did. Okay, that's good. I don't know why it uh, there it's right. Oh, I think it was. Yeah, I was about to say like why is it not in quarantine right there? But yeah, it uh, it left quarantine to go to the vet to get inspected. I think right. So there you go. So now he's on his way. I think. Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> and that one is low welfare right now, but yeah, we got the heckin' silver star right there, you guys, and we already got half the gold done right there. It's crazy. All we need to do now is just look at all the transformers around the park, get rid of those, put turbine, wind turbines there, solar panels there, make sure everything's powered by all that. That way we get to power everything in the zoo with renewable energy thing ticked. And then uh, after that, I just gotta adopt up two polar bears and make a huge enclosure for them and we'll be fine at least now we know how to make a, a enclosure big enough for them before we even get them right instead of you know placing them down and then constantly expanding them and constantly expanding them right but for right now now that we actually have the polar or uh, regular grizzly bear in here now we can actually have a uh a work oh wait hold on wait how 500 the land area went down from the mountains maybe if i smooth it out it'll get better it's 581 right now let me let me get the smooth tool here let me make that bigger there you go that's good Start smooth this out. Oh, it set the intensity. Ah, oh, man. Should set the intensity down a little bit. It got rid of those hills. Now set them. Yeah, 50%. That's good. There you go. Kind of smooth those out. Make it look a little bit more natural and less, like, fake. <laughs> I guess you could say. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And then, uh, keep smoothing them out like so. There you go. So the land area is still. Oh, yeah, we're paused right now, so it's not going to change, is it? Yeah. It'll change here in just a bit, though. I do want to smooth these out in different rates. So right here. Yeah, there you go. Still looks extremely fake and stuff, but... As I do the roughen tool here in just a moment, hopefully that'll help fix that problem. Then, uh, roughen it up a little bit, and then I'll smooth it out a bit, too. That should make it look a little bit better. And there's even, like, a cliff being built right there. You guys see that? It's pretty cool. And let's actually get the smooth again. Let's see how that looks here in just a minute, guys. There we go. Get a smoother cliff edge right there. I think that looks pretty decent right there, you guys. Nice. So let's uh, unpause. Let that update. 581.4. Is that... St oh! Oh, yep. There we go. 943. So I guess it was too steep. It couldn't walk up it, maybe? But now it's fine, yeah. So hopefully the mail is going to be delivered here in just a moment. It should be on its way. I think, right? Oh, yep, there he is right there. Caretaker's on his way. He's running over there like heckin' Forrest Gump. So that's good. So hopefully, uh, whenever the mail's in there, it doesn't... Oh, yeah, look at the grizzly bears at the top of that hill. I like how it turned out right there, you guys. Nice. Uh, it does have too long... Too much long grass, though, so... Definitely want to add some soil rock, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, maybe I'll add some snow, because it is fine with some snow. So maybe I'll add some snow to the top. And, uh, hopefully it doesn't turn red on the land area. 750, was it going to be with two of them? Is it going to stay 750? I don't, I don't know if it should or... Oh, okay, it went up to 800. So yeah, they're fine. 943 out of 800, yeah. We can actually add a little bit of water over here and they're going to be fine, you guys. Nice, awesome. Look at those bears right there, you guys. Nice.